Hello, my name is Rebecca Villanueva and I work as a math tutor sponsored by the Office of Student Success. Today we're going to do a 3.5 lection converting from fractional notation to decimal notation. And the first example that I'm going to show I'm going to show is how to change a fraction to a decimal. So for example, let's say we have 3 divided by 5. We want to go ahead and change this fraction to a decimal. You would have to divide the numerator, the number in the top, by the denominator, the number on the bottom. So we ask ourselves, can 5 fit into 3? No. So in this case, we're going to add a decimal. And we can go ahead and add a 0. Now, instead of a 3, it's a 30. 5, how many times can it fit into 30? It could fit 6 times. So 6 times 5 equals 30. We subtract, and our remainder equals a 0. Our final answer will be 0 0.6. This will be changing from a fraction to a decimal. In another example, let's say we have 7 divided by 20. We would do the same process. We would divide 7 by 20. Can 20 fit into 7? No. So that's when we add a decimal and we can go ahead and add in 0. Yes, it's a 7.0, but in this case we're going to use it as a 70. Can 20 fit into 70? Yes, it could fit three times because seven because three times twenty gives you sixty. We want to get as close as we can to seventy but not passing, not going over that number. So now we subtract seventy minus sixty, zero minus zero, and seven minus six, which is one. We have a remainder of ten. We can go ahead and add another zero. We bring down our zero now it's 100. 20, how many times could it fit into 100? Which will be 5. We put our 100, we subtract, and our remainder is a 0. Once our remainder is a 0, that's when we will stop dividing. Our final answer will be 0 0.35, which is the same as 7 over 20. Let's say, for instance, we get a fraction that is 1 over 6. We would do the same process. We would divide 1 by 6. And can 6 fit into 1? No. So we add a decimal and we add our 0. Can 6 fit into 10? Yes, once. Because 1 times 6 gives you 6. We go ahead and subtract. 10 minus 6 equals 4. We go ahead and add another 0. We bring it down. And our answer, we bring it down. And our number now is 40. 6 times what will give you close to 40? 6. So your answer will be 6 times 6, 36. And we go ahead and subtract again. We borrow, and our remainder is 4. We add another 0 because we're still not done, and our answer is 40. 6 times what will give you close to 40, which will be 6 again. And here we continue that our remainder will be 40. When our remainder repeats, which means our answer will always be 6, 6, 6, we go ahead and write our answer as 0 0.16, and 6 repeats more than once, so we'll just add a slash on top of 6, meaning that it will repeat again. It will continue. It's infinitive. So this is pretty much what we would do, converting from fractions notational to a decimal notation. We divide the numerator by the denominator until our remainder is zero, and that's where we'll stop. 
If your number repeats, we write that same number once and we add a slash letting know the instructor that that number repeats. Thank you. My name is Rebecca Villanueva. I work for the Office of Student Success.